What's up, virtual choir? If you're watching this video, I want to let you know how absolutely proud I am of you. Week after week, we have been working towards our goal and we are almost there. You should feel really proud of yourself. There has been so much progress that's been made. So congratulations and let's get started with this session. In this week's session, I would like to combine our piano skills with our singing skills. How are we going to do that? I'm going to give you a tool that's going to give you the ability to check against your singing and your ear so that you're able to say, did I sing that right? Without having to go through that entire video that I have posted months ago. So... When you are able to um, identify on the piano the notes that you are supposed to be singing, you have confidence, you have security, and you are ready to make your recording. Each of you has been given the soprano, the alto, or the bass part, and there are three sections to each of those. So we're going to break down each one of those sections and we'll be able to play them by the end of this video. So let's get started. Now that we're ready to go into phase two of this video, I would like to make sure that you are aware we are going to be traveling to musictheory.net. I'm going to share my screen so that you're able to see what that looks like. And when we get there, you are going to go to tools at the top left side of your screen. You're gonna to click tools, it's gonna to look something like this. Scroll down to pop up piano, click on that, and a pop up piano should appear. Unfortunately, my technology will not allow you to see the pop up piano on my screen, but you will certainly be able to play that. So instead, I'm gonna I'm going to pop out, actually, and I'm going to go old school in a few seconds. Ta-da! This is a virtual piano app that I use on my Apple device. You don't have to have an Apple device. You can use musictheory.net, but... As you can see, it gives you all of the sounds that you would have on a normal... Um, virtual keyboard. So we're going to get started with Soprano Part 1. All right, everyone, I hope that you are ready and that it's not freaking you out too much that all you can see is my mouth. All right, we're going to go starting with the Soprano Part 1. That's starting on C4. So if you are looking at the musictheory.net um, keyboard, you are going to be able to see C4. So that's where we're starting. And I'm just going to sing. I'm going to press the notes and play and sing. I realize that that might have been a little bit awkward for some of you, so I'm going to try that again so that you can see the, um, the letter names. It starts on C4, so let's go. It is on G4, all right? All right, you guys, now that we've finished part one, let's go into part two. This is the part that goes, pride land, my land, tears stained, dry land. This is soprano part two. And it's only two notes, fantastically, wonderfully, just two notes. So what that means is on our virtual keyboard, again, we're starting at G4. Four, you can find it, it's right there, G4. So I'm gonna adjust my screen so that you can see it. And I'll play along. Pride land, my land, tears stain, dry land, take this with you. Let's do. 
It's just that simple. All right, y'all. Part three is a little bit more involved. So I really want to make sure that I slow things down. It's going to be, and where the journey, oh, excuse me, and where the journey may lead you. Right? It's that part right there. So we're going to slow things down. Um, and this is going to start on E4. So here I'm going to tilt my, my device so that you can see my screen. Make sure that you can see everybody. So we're starting on E4. I'm going to slow down, okay? Okay, that's where we are. E, and we're going all the way up to E to A5. All right, let's go. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Though it may take you so far away, always re remember your pride. Yikes, I need to do that again. It is hard trying to play this thing upside down, but I'm going to try one more time. This is Soprano Part 3 for Shadowland, all right? Starting on E4. Hopefully you can see my letters. Here we are. I'm going to slow it down. Here we are. Hope you saw that. Hope you got it. And if you have any questions, you know you can always contact me. Hey, as I mentioned, there are three and a half parts for the Shadowland Chorus. And so, Sopranos, your first, uh, the first part that you sang, which is Fati Lezu, starting on C4, is the same thing that you'll be singing for the three and a half part. Um, the only difference is that the chorus goes back into, and with a journey. So what you're going to do is, you're going to sing the same thing, the same part, Fati Lezu le instead of you going to um g you're going to go to the b you're going to go to b4 it's going to look a little something like this here we go the third and a half part for shadowland sopranos Awesome. So after you finish the third and a half part, then you'll just go back to and where the journey and all of those fingerings for the soprano three part are just before this. So you should be all set. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I am just, again, super, super proud of you. Mwah! Enjoy and I'll see you in rehearsal. Bye.